The bunch strong nasty in the Colts offensive playbook is one of the best formations in Madden 25. And in this video, we're going to be dropping kind of a mini tutorial in terms of how you could run a very simplified version of this offense. Now, if you want to get the full version of my Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. For just $10, you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25. And I just believe it's the best place to get better. If you want to sign up, the link is going to be in the description. Now we're in the bunch strong nasty formation in the Colts offensive playbook and what we're going to be doing is setting the audibles mesh flat spot motion smash angle wide trail and PA bunch shot. You don't have to have this smash angle play if you like to run the ball. Be sure to put the play uh, RPO read bubble in your audibles but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming out in this play dagger as it is in my opinion the most versatile play within the formation. Now the setup for the play dagger is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take our slot receiver and we are going to put him him on a drag we're going to take our outside receiver and we're going to put him on a post so you see this is what the route combination is going to look like and this is one of my favorite plays for being able to attack man and zone coverage every single year our first read is going to be this fade on the left side but really what we're looking for here is this post route that we have the ability to hot route this year as it's just going to get consistent separation against man-to-man -man coverage and they're going to have to user the route now if your opponent is using this route what i want you to do is try to look for this drag route kind of coming across the middle and if that's not open normally this tight end little backwards in route is going to be available to you to be able to attack the defense the other thing that you have is let's say we get them out of man coverage we're going to have a nice high low read here on the left side you can inside pass lead this um you can inside pass lead this route to the solo receiver against cover three coverage specifically if they are running a hard flat coverage this is one of my favorite things to kind of start out the play and just look out here you see we can kind of inside pass lead here we're not able to because of the uh, yellow zone we did have the post it's just we got instant shedded because i sent more than uh, zero people in the practice mode practice mode is insane with the sheds this year but we'll show this again and you'll see that this post is really what we want to hit. Let's see if we can actually throw the ball this time. You see here, solo streak, drag, tight end route, and then post. So you see how this kind of just really does a good job of high-lowing that left-hand side of the field in a variety of different ways. Now I want to show you what happens if they were to maybe like play a little bit more cloud flat or curl flat coverage that's where we're going to have this underneath drag route it's normally super open when it's open and when it's covered it's kind of obvious the yellow zones will really drop down but if they don't shade underneath that route is going to be available to you now if they do shade underneath what i want you to do is really look for your post route you'll see here travis kelsey's kind of running his route super weird and mahomes is going to throw the ball into the third row for some reason <laughs> but uh, we'll show you this one more time against cover four and I'm actually, one little pro tip with this play, if you want Ty, uh, Kelsey to run his route a little later, you can stem him up a tick, and now it's going to really space out a little bit better like we want. And you'll see here, it's a really nice developing play, and it really just spaces the field horizontally, uh, spaces the field from left to right. You have a high-low read on the right sideline, but you also have some nice reads um, in the middle of the field as that Travis Kelsey route is normally a pretty good route for both man and zone coverages in this year's game. Now, the next play that we're going to be going over is a flood combo to the right side of the field and really one of my favorites in the game. So what we're going to be able to do here with this play mesh flat spot is we are just going to stem this corner all the way to the right side. We're going to streak our slot receiver, and then we're going to put our tight end on a post route, and we're going to drag our backside receiver. So you see, this is what the combo looks like. We're really focusing in here on this like stemmed corner as it is the best route on the play and the reason we call this play. And if they are playing pretty much any base coverage, whether they have curl flats or not, typically, unless they're using some very specific zone drops, they're not normally going to be able to cover this. We always want to look to this right side it's a simple high-low read on that right side and there you see sauce Gardner actually played an amazing play but if they do play let's say they play like a cover two i did want to show this as well but let's say they play like um like a cover two cloud or something like that where they're really trying to take away the corner route this is where we want to check it down to our running back you'll see really quickly that he's open and then we can use the spin move which is the best ball carrier move in madden 25 to be able to try to make a defender miss now if they are playing more of a cover four hard flat basically to take the running back away they're going to have to have a hard flat so if they are doing something like that 
normally this stemmed corner, you're just going to pass lead this all the way to the outside, and you want to possess and catch it on the sideline against cover four and cover three coverages. Now, let me actually get into this idea of a cover three cloud rotation, and we'll show you kind of cover three on that right side in terms of the outside third and the curl flat. Curl flats get a lot more vertical this year than they have in years past, but what you'll see is we're still going to be able to kind of out leverage that zone to that right sideline resulting in a pretty easy, easy high-low read to the right. So dagger is a high-low read to the left. Mesh flat spot is a high-low read to the right. And now I want to show you some of my other favorite plays within this formation. One of my favorite formation or plays within this formation is out of this play PA bunch shot. And basically what we're going to do here is we are just going to stem this tight end corner pretty much all the way up and it's going to turn it into a delay fade. We have this high-low read on the right side with the drag and the crosser, and then we have this deep post on the back side of the formation. From a running back perspective, you can pretty much put the running back on whatever you want. One of my favorite routes to put the running back on in this example is just a simple flat route to the right side, and it's just going to open everything up for your offense. That uh, and, and then most, most of these uh, crossers normally are going to do a really good job of beating man coverage. So if you do get man coverage here, we'll actually let the play run a little bit more. You'll see. as That's kind of crazy bag. That's crazy that they're actually bagged that. Um, we'll show it to you one more time. You'll see that these crossing routes normally do a really good job of beating man to man. Which is also why if you want to put your running back on like a little basic out route, be my guess because it can give you some man to man separation. <laughs> I'm getting so shedded. It's insane. Practice mode really is just not my friend at the end of the day. And we're just going to spy all these people so you can actually see the routes. Because practice mode sheds are the most unrealistic thing I've ever seen. And they're not a reflection of what's actually going to happen in the real game. So what you'll see here is these little crossers. You see, oftentimes this is what happens. This R1 crosser is normally really good against man. It's like a short cross. And then also what's really good against man is this... Um, is this uh, like deeper crosser. Now I am going up against Stout Sauce Gardner with Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice isn't the best receiver to show this with. We'll try to see if we can get him. He's get that inside leverage. And here he's not going to get it. But you can you can see kind of how this like tight end route is just really nice because against zone coverage, you're gonna be able to basically just throw this in the soft spot of the zone. Now, as far as another, let's while we're here, while we're on the subject, let's just talk about man coverage for a second. So if you ever wanna beat man coverage in this formation, go to the play wide trail, and you're just gonna drag the um, slot receiver here. You're gonna stem corner the outside guy, and then you're just gonna block your running back. This simple combo right here is very good against man, primarily because of this route to Marquise Brown. I actually threw that super late, but this route to uh, this route to Marquise Brown here. Let me show you that one more time. You're gonna see that he's gonna get inside separation and just pretty much like always wins. Like it's just a consistent man beater. And then so they have to basically user that with their user. And when they do go to that with their user, this is where the trail route to the tight end is normally gonna be money for your offense. So you see here, watch this tight end. He's getting kind of randomly bumped, and we're getting randomly shedded because practice mode is just a terrible representation sometimes of what actually happens in real games. But we will show it again, and we'll see if we can get our tight end to actually run his route properly. <laughs> and you can freeform high point it with Kelsey. Normally you'll catch that. We're just getting randomly bumped here, and so I, it, it has to do with this dollar alignment. This dollar alignment's not normally what somebody's going to do if they are in man coverage. Let's just see if we can get the tight end to actually run his route. And there you see, normally when he cuts like that, that's normally what's going to happen in terms of his ability to consistently beat man coverage for you. So you're able to beat man coverage in this play. Another thing that I like to do um, is let's say that we are going up against like a cover two type coverage. This play wide trail is really interesting because you're going to basically be able to split the safeties. And so the way that this split's going to work is this post, when he kind of cuts inside, you're just going to throw it kind of right over in that little window. Now, again, I'm going to take the mid-read off the field. The mid-read will play it if they do have a stock mid-read. Most people that run cover two, they're doing it so they can double flat, right, because they want to stop like dagger and stuff. So they normally don't have a middle uh, a mid-read zone. They normally don't have that if they're running kind of a traditional cover two. 
what you'll see is once this post kind of cuts inside, there's just this really sweet spot that you can hit, and oftentimes you're going to be able just to split the cover three. Now, another thing that makes this play really good is a lot of people in this game, they love like cover four, cover three. I'm going to show you another cool setup out of wide trail, um, and this setup is going to actually be using a flat route. So the reason we're using a flat route instead of a corner is we're going to try to bomb the coverage over the top. You're going to see once he kind of crosses the face of that corner, there is a window that you can hit this. Now, this is a very advanced throw, and you would want to, like, obviously practice this. This is a little easier, a little easier against cover three than it is against cover two, or uh, cover four, sorry. Against cover three, you're just going to wait. He's going to cross the face of that middle third, and then you're just going to kind of throw it. And Sauce Gardner might just be too good, and we might not be able to throw the ball to over there. Uh, let me show that. Let me show that cover three cloud actually with the first setup that I gave you at a wide trail, which is this corner route to the right side. And we run it like this. You'll see that outside there gets pulled. And we're trying to kind of hit this right in this little seam. So that's a little better for cover three. For cover four, you really don't want that corner route because that corner route is going to pull that outside defender pretty significantly. So what I like to do here is use a flat route. So we'll do it like this. And you'll see now, watch that post route on that solo. A lot of times you can kind of get this over the top. And we're kind of struggling with Mahomes. Mahomes is honestly kind of making some terrible throws in this video, uh, even though he's lit up. And this is, like, clear, clearly the best offensive team in the game. But we'll see if we can hit it here. You see right there, it's kind of the window that you're wanting to look for. But... Even though that, even though we're not able to hit it, hit the bomb aspect of this, I do have other tutorials that actually explain the bomb a little bit more in depth. What I do want to show with wide trail is, re regardless of the setup, you can throw this over the yellows and under the deep blues. So you can kind of throw this like right in here, and you're going to let possession catch it. Holmes is missing a ton of throws, even though we're not actually free forming. Shout out to EA. We're going to go wide trail. We'll see if we can actually throw her out. And you're just going to possession catch before that deep through the deep blue defender gets there. Deep blue defenders in this game, they just don't really play play well at all. So we've gone over wide trail. We've gone over mesh flat spot. We've gone over uh, PA bunch shot. Now we're going to go over motion smash angle. So the purpose of motion smash angle is really to utilize these short corner routes that we have in combination with our hot routes. So what we're gonna do with this setup is we're gonna streak our outside bunch receiver and then we're going to post our solo receiver. So you see this is what it's gonna look like. This is really effective for using these short corners and posts to beat man to man. So this is a very good play for attacking kind of that man coverage that we find sometimes difficult to beat in this game. The reason why is because you have these short corners that normally get really good separation against man. Sky Moore is just selling. And I'll tell you what, this is this is like a true like proof of concept video for why you want to have your fastest receivers in the game. But you'll also see here that this running back Texas route is normally going to beat man when he cuts to the inside, which is the whole point of, you know, kind of having this play. You have you have these combos. Um, another thing that you can do with this motion smash angle play is you can actually stem these corners. So if you wanted to, you'll see here, you can kind of stem these corners and turn them into almost like slant out routes that are pretty effective as well. So you have a couple different options in terms of that play. But in general, the reason we run this is just for the short corners, right? So you could even honestly run a combo like this, for example, and it would still... Uh, be very effective you see there that time the short corner shows you kind of what it's capable to do against man to man in this game and then last thing i did want to go over is go back to pa bunch shot and show you this again the zone so pa bunch shot and we're just going to stem this all the way up essentially you're reading your high low on the left side and you'll see that this like kind of like inverted crosser normally is going to do a really good job of kind of getting into the soft spot on the defense. It actually is baffling me how many throws Mahomes is missing. So we might have to uh, never use Mahomes in a video again. <laughs> but we'll see here. See how he kind of sharply cuts. 
and then you're going to throw that right in that little pocket or right in that little window right there. So this is a great high-low read. It's going to pull the user out of the middle of the field, and then when you pull the user out of the middle of the field, when you're running PA bunch shot, all you have to do is basically just hit your tight end. So you see kind of late in the play, the tight end is eventually going to run his streak route, and you'll see... <laughs> you'll see if he doesn't get bumped to oblivion it'll basically be a delay fade right now we can if we want to we can roll out on this play because we have a lot of protection to uh, be able to do so right so if we wanted to roll to the right you could certainly do that you see there that time the tight end releases like he's supposed to and you see we can kind of throw that up in there and you want to want to obviously possession catch that because there is somebody standing in the middle of the field, even though normally that person would be chasing the crossing route that's going to be open for 30 yards on the right-hand side of the screen. So anyway, we see here, just kind of roll out. Another thing is against cover four, this post can sometimes be an absolute bomb over the top as well. So kind of similar to Y trail. Uh, the main difference between this one and y, y trail is that the post is just a lot deeper. So even if you wanted to run like run your delay fade like this and kind of make it into more of a corner route. It's actually going to be really helpful because you see here late, it's still going to kind of be in that same window that we want to throw a delay fade in. But then the other thing that you're able to do is it'll kind of serve as like a pull route. So you see here and then this deep post, once he kind of crosses that right side third, you're going to throw that up into the right and try to basically bomb him over the top. Obviously, it's a, it's a really difficult throw to make, but that is the, the window in which you would be trying if you wanted to bomb cover four. That'd kind of be where you'd want to throw the ball. Let's see, once he kind of crosses that inside third or inside quarter, and you see how important it is to throw it before he stops running. But in general, these are, these are kind of the ways in which you would bomb cover three, cover four from this formation. And even if you wanted to stem this post down a tick to make it cut a little faster, you're going to see once he crosses that face of that inside quarter, then we're going to throw it in that window. And you see that time the guy played it a little bit better than we had hoped he would. So in general, that's PA bunch shot. There's not a whole lot to this. Um, it's just mainly the delay fade. And then also the cro this cross, the short cross, is just super good against man-to-man. -man. So that is the bunch strong, nasty little mini scheme. A lot of good plays we went over today. If you guys want to check out my entire Colts offensive ebook where we go over all, everything from this playbook, make sure that you join our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link to sign up is in the description below.